Hi there SpaceX fans, we are back with another exciting video. Today, let's talk about SpaceX's insane new Starship rocket, leaked by Elon Musk. Elon Musk's SpaceX is hard at work developing the next generation of space travel deep in the hearts of South Texas. Their top of the line, one of a kind Starship is unlike anything that has come before it. It will be 30 feet in diameter and 180 feet tall and it will be propelled into orbit by the patented Super Heavy Launch Vehicle, which will be powered by 31 Raptor engines. The craft, when the Starship and the Super Heavy are merged, will be the tallest, heaviest and most powerful space rocket ever to grace the stars. However, the creation is more than just a world record breaker. Perhaps the most astounding aspect of Starship will be that it is completely reusable, unlike NASA's previous spaceships. The ability to reuse the ship is what really distinguishes it and will make it much more financially appealing to SpaceX and other space organizations. To describe Starship as a modern engineering marvel would be an understatement. It really does raise the bar for the future of space travel. This creation is the culmination of several generations of spaceships and prototypes. Nonetheless, Elon Musk is dissatisfied with Starship. Despite the fact that his firm is creating something new, and ahead of its time. Musk is already planning the next edition of Starship. In fact, he has already hinted at the possibility of a larger Starship model, as well as specific variations of the ship capable of freight transport and missions to Mars and the Moon. During an aborted landing attempt on Tuesday morning, this version of the vehicle, known as Starship Serial Number 11, or SN11, rained debris down. It's unclear if the rocket burst into the air during its fall or when it made contact with the landing pad. At 8 a.m. local time, Starship heaved itself off the launch pad, launching six miles into the skies above Texas. The 16-story rocket shut down two of its three truck-sized Raptor engines as it approached the top of its flight. It hovered at 33,000 feet before shutting off the final engine, tilted sideways and crashed back to Earth. The rocket was designed to reignite its engines as it approached the Earth, allowing it to flip upright and land gently. Instead, its internal cameras froze once the engine started. It was impossible to see the SN11 when it neared the landing strip in Boca Chica, Texas, due to the dense fog. A live stream of NASA's spaceflight shows debris, possibly from the rocket, falling near the launch pad. While the rocket impacted too hard and may have already broken up, it did land on the exact location. At least the crater is in the right area, Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, tweeted on Tuesday. He also mentioned that one of the engines appeared to be malfunctioning during the rocket's ascent. The launch was SpaceX's fourth attempt at a Starship prototype flight since December. The Starship prototype that landed before this one, known as SN10, initially landed after its flight earlier this month, but it detonated 10 minutes later. The two before that, SN8 and SN9, both crashed and blew up. In order to realize founder Elon Musk's aim of developing the world's first entirely reusable launch system, SpaceX will need to master landing the Starship without any explosions, whether immediate or delayed. SpaceX's Starship prototypes are intended to be the upper stage of a two-part system. Eventually, the Starship spaceship would be propelled into orbit by a roughly 23-story rocket known as Super Heavy. In mid-March, SpaceX began assembling the first prototype of that booster at its Texas facilities. Musk stated that the current version of the Super Heavy is only for the production testing, but that the next prototype will fly. Musk anticipates the Starship Super Heavy system one day transporting astronauts to the moon and enabling hypersonic travel to Earth. He stated that he intends to build 1,000 Starships to transport people and cargo to Mars and create a community there. SpaceX will need to combine the Super Heavy launcher with the Starship, learn to launch the two pieces together and demonstrate that it can land the booster in one piece, in addition to landing Starship prototypes without blowing them up. In order to prove its capacity to re-enter Earth's atmosphere, the corporation will also need to launch a Starship into orbit. This will necessitate a sort of launch authorization from the FAA, but acquiring it will entail overcoming numerous regulatory hurdles, including a complete environmental evaluation. Depending on the results of that assessment, SpaceX may be required to perform a new environmental impact statement. Depending on the results of that assessment, SpaceX may be required to perform a new environmental impact statement, which may take up to three years. 
A leaked FAA draft document obtained by insiders showed SpaceX's plans to drill natural gas wells and install gas-fired power stations near Boca Chica, complicating issues. Such intentions could cause SpaceX's environmental review to be delayed. Two previous prototypes, the SN8 and the SN9, both burst on contact as a result of a hard landing. The SN10 made a successful touchdown but then detonated on the landing pad a few minutes later. The first to detonate looks to be SN11, just before impacting the ground. So far, we've seen that one of these prototypes can self-destruct during the landing process. There is reason to believe that the next attempt will be more successful. SpaceX will jump ahead to SN15, which reportedly incorporates a slew of upgrades Musk is excited enough about that he opted to essentially throw out SN12, SN13, and SN14. SN15 has already been assembled ahead of its debut. The hope is that one of the upcoming prototypes will not only survive the landing, but allow the company to proceed towards the first attempts of flight for the Starship as early as June. On Monday, SpaceX lit up its super heavy rocket booster for the first time at the company's star-based rocket development site in Boca Chica, Texas. The whole down test flight firing lasted just for a few seconds, but Musk described it on Twitter as a full test duration firing of three Raptors on a Super Heavy booster. This is a scaled down test prototype of the Super Heavy, with the final model expected to have up to 32 Raptors, allowing it to lift heavy payloads beyond Earth's gravity well, boosting them to the Moon and Mars. This powerful booster is also being tested in Texas. You may recall seeing images of a few early Starship prototypes landing hard after high altitude test flights and exploding violently. When the entire system is complete, the plan is for the Starship carrying freight or passengers to be put atop a Super Heavy, which will propel them out of the atmosphere. The Super Heavy can then return to Earth and be reused, much like the Falcon 9 first stage. This is huge. That was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos.